I'm Anthony Alf Elmore. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. I am best known in Memphis, Tennessee as the five-time world karate kickboxing champion. It was in 1987 where we wrote, produced, directed, and starred in the first movie of anyone, black or white, we produced the first independent film called The Contemporary Gladiator. My topic today is Kevin Kane, President and CEO of Memphis Tourism, a racist and white supremacist. Hello, I am Anthony Alf Elmore, President and Founder of Orange Round Black Memphis Hollywood. We are a black filmmaking company, whereas black filmmakers use film to take on Memphis white supremacy and racism and Memphis black on black racism. We are in pre-production of our movie, Rock and Roll, A Black Legacy. Whereas we met with white supremacy and racism from Lynn Sittler, who is the Memphis Chevy County Film Commissioner. Lynn Sittler, for over 33 years, used her position as the Memphis Chevy County Film Commissioner to discriminate against black people and promote only white films and white filmmakers. Lynn Sittler used Memphis tax dollars to aggrandize her white racist achievements. The question one may ask is, how does Kevin Kane, president and CEO of Memphis Tourism, be suspect of white supremacy and racism? Let's get to it. You see, unknown to most people in Memphis and around the world is that Kevin Kane, president and CEO of Memphis Tourism, plays one of the most pivotal roles in the direction of equality, justice, and fair and progress in a progressive Memphis. Kevin Kane heads a racist white supremacist culture that is unfair and unjust to African Americans who are 70% of the Memphis population, whereas Memphis perhaps is the poorest and racist big city in America. You do not need to take my word for it. Let's look at the 2010 Griffin Strong Disparity Study. You will find that even under Black Mayor Willie Harrington, Memphis practiced the worst inequality, racism, and discrimination against black people than any major city in America. You see, there were over 2,800 businesses registered to do business with the city of Memphis, and only six were black, and they were caterers and janitors. Now, now, a casual mind would never see the racism and the white supremacy in regards to Memphis tourism, or one could not connect Kevin Kane to racism and white supremacy. You see, Memphis tourism is the epitome of white supremacy and racism in that there are no black inclusions, no black dignity, or equality for black people. You see, while Kevin Kane is one of the most highest paid executives in Memphis, he makes twice as much money as the Memphis mayor and the Tennessee governor's salary combined. But, but be, but be aware of the National Museum of African American History and Culture on the Mall of Washington, D.C. You see, Orange Mound in Memphis, Tennessee, whose history dates back to 1879, is the first community in America built for blacks by blacks. 
There does not exist even a sign or it is not known as to how and why Orange Mound became the first community in America built for blacks by blacks. This is how white supremacy and systemic racism works in Memphis, Tennessee. This is Mrs. Mary Mitchell, who I call my Orange Mound Mama. The city of Memphis recognized her as Orange Mound's community historian. This is the most fraudulent and cunning white misrepresentation of Memphis black history. Black history is not told via honoring a black person as a historian. Black history is told via a black historian being honored via the establishment of a black history museum. Just as there is the National Museum of African American History and Culture on the Mall of Washington, D.C., there should be the Memphis Museum of African American History and Culture built in Orange Mound. We in Memphis have a 70% African American population, and it was black labor via the cotton trade that built the foundation of Memphis wealth. It was black people who invented rock and soul music. Now, Calvin Kane earns damn near $500,000 a year. He gives $350,000 to the production of the Fail White series Bluff City Law, yet he contributes nothing to the building of the history and culture of black people in Memphis. Yes, Memphis tourism does not contribute one dime or a single thought to supporting the building of the Memphis Museum of African American History and Culture in Orange Mound. The most honorable and respectful action that the city of Memphis can take in regards to being fair to the underrepresented black citizens in Memphis in regards to equality, fairness, respect, and honor is for Memphis to support and build the Memphis Museum of African American History and Culture. Kevin Kane is president and CEO of Memphis Tourism. This is the city where Dr. Martin Luther King was killed. We asked Kevin Kane to send a message to Memphis, America, and the world by so, to support the rights and dignity of African Americans by coming to Orange Mound in support our efforts to build in Orange Mound the Memphis Museum of African American History and Culture. We promote this idea on our upcoming movie production, Rock and Roll, A Black Legacy.